Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. As soon as I sat down here, Ellie came jumping right onto my... Oh, Ellie, stop with the necklace. She came jumping right on my lap. She's so excited to see you guys. She's a mess, though. Say hi, Ellie. Say hi. Say hi to the people. <laughs> She's like, no, I want your necklace. Say hi. I do love you, though. Anyways, welcome to today's video. It is how many days till Christmas, Sam? 12. 12. Wow, that's still so long. I'm like sitting here in Christmas 12, mode. 13, actually. 13? Well, it's 13 today, so 12 days, yeah. 12 days of Christmas. It's the 12 days of Christmas. Anyway, we're headed out to play with our ponies because we've been missing them. We've been trying to figure out what we want to do this winter with them, and Sophie has some ideas of what she wants to do with hers. But before we go, I want to show you Sophie's progression in her new craft. Sophie's been learning to crochet and she's making a saddle pad. Is this the saddle pad? Yes. So she just makes up patterns in her head, which is so inspirational. I don't ever make anything. I need to start making my own things, my own patterns. Making this into a saddle so pad. show them what you made. She's making that into a saddle pad for her minis, but show them the, yeah, look at this. Okay, a blanket. Let me see. This is what she made for her horse, her, her schleich. Isn't it nice? It's got that high neck. It's got the band around the front. Keep you should you should put a belly band, Sophie. Is this Levi? Yeah, that's his name. And it comes with his name on it? No. Oh, you wrote the name yeah, on it? Yeah, because I always forget my names. Oh, wow, you're just like me. Anyway, that's the blanket that she made. She made it up all on her own. Figured out how to do it. Absolutely adorable. What else do you have? Saddle pad. Do you guys see how cute? It's hard to show you in here. There's no light. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie is obviously a schleich Ellie, eater. Don't let her eat that horse. That's my favorite. Don't eat any horses, Ellie. Don't. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have problems. All right. So there it is. That is her saddle pad that she made for her horse. She got this wool the other day when we were out shopping and she picked it. Because once you crochet or you knit, you literally can't stand not having wool to make stuff with. So she got this or she made that. Love it. Oh, what is this? Driving harness. This is a driving, wait, watch out. Watch. This is a driving harness she made. Uh-oh. The strings are reins. The strings are reins. Isn't that adorable? Goes underneath. Like, she's only just started, and I started when I was really young, but I didn't really pick it up until I was like 20. I love it. It's amazing. She's just being super creative and learning along the way, so I'm excited for her. But anyways, I wanted to show you one more thing before we head out. I was just thinking how it's super weird I'm sitting on this couch here because every single one of them, tell me in the comments below, do you guys do this too? Every single one of us has our very own spot in the living room and we never vary from it ever. We never change spots. So Sam has that chair and nobody else ever sits in it. He just him, he always sits on it. This couch right now that I'm sitting on and that Ellie is sitting on <laughs> that we would never dare sit on belongs to Gabby. All right, so I'm gonna start over here. So this is Sam's chair, this is where only he sits here. And then he has all of his junk everywhere here. This is where he keeps his stuff. <laughs> This is his basket that he had for his medication and now he keeps junk in it. He keeps his coffee here. He has his iPad. And then this is Gabby's space. She has a pencil there. This is where she does her homework. This is where she sits. This is her spot. She also has this extension cord where she plugs in her computer and she plugs in her phone. But she sits here. She watches TV. This is her spot. And nobody ever tries to sit in it. This is Sophie's space. But the reason I'm showing you this is because what's so weird about it is that this is Sophie's corner cushion. Only Sophie sits here and she keeps all her stuff here. So she has like her purse, she has a ribbon, she has so much wool, she has her wool bags. She won this at the award ceremony for, res for a reserve champion and she's gonna use it instead of a tack bag because she, or instead of a brush bag because she has so many, she's gonna use it for her wool, which I think is amazing. So this is her spot and her, she's kind of, but notice the difference here. Sam's stuff in his spot, Sophie's stuff in her spot, Gabby has a pencil and then over here <laughs> is where I sit. This is my spot. This is my spot and Daisy's spot. Daisy and I kind of share it. She's wagging her tail a minute ago telling me don't come and take my spot. I have a blanket in case I get cold. I have my purse on the ground there and then I also have this thing over here which I store all my stuff in. I store like my dog grooming stuff and my dog clothes and all that kind of stuff. So this is Anya's spot and <laughs> she makes a mess. 
This is also Anya's spot where there's not yeah. two pillows here. Anya literally will go anywhere. She sleeps on the couch too. But this is her spot. She jumps up on the fireplace. We put her food up on the fireplace because we don't want the dogs to get it. So this is her spot. This is her area. And then she also sleeps over here. Technically, she has the most spots in the house. See, here she is. <laughs> She's like, this is my spot. You go away. <laughs> She's really cute. Okay. And then okay. over here is the dog spot. So just wait. We have the whole room situated. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. So, one day I was lying here and my feet were up against here and since the cat goes in the couch, I felt claws in my foot. Yeah, she's good at and that. And I put my foot over here and then something jumped up and attacked me. <laughs> Look, there's a little hole there. Yeah. Perfect for the cat. Yeah, she is a crazy little cat, but we love her. Just recognizing all the stuff, like where we all sit and stuff, made me wonder, like, how do you guys do it at your house? Do you guys all have a spot? Do your teenagers stay in their bedroom? I think that's what most teenagers do. No, I'm scared of mine. So, like, Sophie does go in her room Every sometimes. Night, I hear noises and people talking. Like, really? not your guys' voices. And, really? and I say, hi, ghost. <laughs> and I go back to this. Anyways. Maybe curious, what do you guys do? Do you have like spots in your house that you all spend together doing your things? Like Sophie and I crochet while we watch TV. Sam watches his phone while he watches TV. And Gabby does her homework while we watch TV. You guys know that these lunch bags come in a bigger size. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> and I still have carrots to chop up. I have one last squash. For the goats. Yeah, what happened to all the others? It's huge. Chickens, you mean? I don't, for the chickens, yeah, they like it best. But anyways, I've been training my dog to wait when I open the door. She has to wait before she runs out. It's not going well. <laughs> I need to get treats. Look at all the chickens. Oh, wait. Just fl wait. I got this. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> she broke her carrots. It didn't break. No, Ellie. No, Molly. Making my mitts all wet. What is that? Oh, that's a dead mole that I was talking about. Wrong hey, get right. away from it. A dead mole. Oh, there you go. Ew. It's got that's big, cute. sharp teeth. All right, little chickens. You got a gift today. Stay in there. <laughs> we should cut up the other pumpkin for them. Okay. Are you still laying? All right. Grab your cam. Did you give the mom some? Yes. Now let's give the baby boy this one. They still fly every time you open it. There you go. More stuff to eat. Mm -hmm. Wow. They learned They learned from the last time. Do you know what's weird though? Every time we've ever had baby chicks, they have never eaten food. They've, They've eaten worms. Yeah. Only ever worms. Look at my bird rock. Yes, we know you love her. All right, let's go. We're going out to that field. Are we? Yeah. All right. Poles are there. Okay, grab Gracie then. Well, come here. I was thinking about how different farming ha is now over even 20 years ago. Like, with the advent of the internet, Things have changed so much in farming. And so many of you wonderful people, wonderful, amazing ladies have shared with us your experiences farming years ago. And it really showed me like how different times are. Like someone was sharing a story about how they had to store a lot of food and a lot of stuff on their farm in the winter, especially for hard days. Like I feel like in the past people had to store stuff on their property. I mean, obviously there are farmers who make all their own feed and all their own bedding and all that kind of stuff. So those people would obviously store it on their property. But nowadays it's so different. Like this lady talked about how like blizzards would happen and you couldn't get to the store to get stuff. And it's so different now because we have all these apps that tell us when bad weather is coming and you can prepare and stock up and store. And, but like how I showed you with our hay, we store it someplace else so we don't have to have it here and store it here and like all the grain and stuff. I don't like to have too much of it here because I don't like to have, I don't like to have the bags down on the ground where animals can come and get it. So anything that fits in my barrels, that's what I like to store. 
and it's just so easy for us to get. I think like even 20 years ago, things weren't as easy to get as they are today. It just makes me think like how drastically different farming is today than it was 20 years ago. Obviously you can still do it the way that it was done 20 years ago, but there are so many things made easier by the advent of the internet. And it's amazing. It's amazing to hear stories of how people used to do it. Like it amazes me. It is amazing. I'm literally standing here waiting for Sophie to bring her horse in, but I think she just took her outside. Did the dog come in here? Come on, Molly. It's actually really cold out. This is literally one of my favorite areas on this farm, this little tiny hut. And I would like to make this the feed room. Like I would love to put the hay bale in here and have it to like put maybe three in here. Have it fill this whole space so that we can open these two areas and then they, and maybe even make windows over there. Make this a hay hut. That is my dream. Obviously not what I'm doing today though. Looks like everybody wanted to play. <laughs> okay, well now I <laughs> Hold on, let me get in a good spot. <laughs> I don't want you. Okay. those ears <laughs> does he do that every time yep. can you fix his blanket you shouldn't reward him if that's not what you wanted him to do well he followed me well, let's see if ellie can do it yeah. come here ellie <laughs> watch gracie come here okay we'll watch She's gracie first up. okay hold on ellie we're gonna do it ellie ellie Wow, she is a superstar. We need more horse. Time, last time she just ran away and bolted. Oh, really? Okay, come here, Ellie. Look, 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 Ellie, come here, look. I have a treat. It's a carrot. Come here, Ellie. Come on, look. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, Ellie. Wait, come on. Oh my gosh, she beat me. Go yeah. over there and film. Okay. No, watch Willow do it. Alright. Willow loves this. This is her specialty. Come yeah, on, Willow. Willow loves this. What? <laughs> she just does it. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Molly! Come on, Ellie! Come on! Over the poles! Come on, Ellie! Come on! <sighs> Molly does not like Ellie and she's unhappy that I'm working with Ellie. Ellie, stay. I'm frozen. I'm never going to be warm again. Ellie, she really wants to do something. Wow, beautiful. Sophie butchered her tail. <laughs> this is Honey's favorite spot to do stuff. Cause like in the middle of the field, she doesn't know that I want her to go over the poles. But then here she's like, oh yes, I know this. I think I have a superstar of a dog. <laughs> Honey. You are so fun. Come Look on, at that booty. Come on, Ellie, Ellie, come on. Okay, now do it with Honey. Look at those sassy. Wait, Penny's coming here. Hold my phone. 
Okay, storm's coming too, I guess. <laughs> There was a bit of a stampede. Nobody likes a stampede. I'm obsessed with my puppy. What? You'll know this in like two seconds. Come here, Ellie. Let me pick her up. Oh, Penny's going to check out the pool. See, she doesn't like to be in a group. She wants to push the poles up. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm good for that. Fist bump. She's teaching him a fist bump. Hi, babe. Come on, look. I'll give you a treat, but you gotta walk the poles with me. Come on, look. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Come on. You can do it. Over the poles. Over the poles. Over the poles. Ears pinned right back. Good girl. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Over the poles. Over the poles! Over the poles! <laughs> yeah! There's my girl! I'm gonna put a warmer blanket on Storm tonight. Storm. Actually, it's supposed to get really warm. She remembers oh, pushing things. Wait. We're trying to make sure. No, wait. Wait. Penny, look. Push it. Yeah, good girl. Such a good princess. We can't get away. <laughs> Ellie, come here. Go with Storm now. <laughs> it's cold. We even had to leave that door closed today because of the coldness. It's warm in here. They're looking for carrots? You want carrots? Do you actually like carrots? Look. I saw loose pieces. They're waiting for us to leave. Ellie! I swear this farm, this barn, both of these barns, are warmer than our old barn. We used to go down to our other barn and it was always cold, always. And Sam said this barn's gonna be really cold because it's on a hill. I find it really warm. Really like I find, it, I find it noticeably warmer. Whew. That was crazy fun, but you guys, do you think? Comment below if you think I got an agility dog on my hands. Don't you know that you're beautiful?